Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman, Mr. Secretary General, Your Excellencies, distinguished delegates. I offer you warm greetings from the government and people of the Commonwealth of Dominica, a small, majestic island state situated in the heart of the world's most wonderful region, the Caribbean. I first want to congratulate both the Secretary General elect, Doreen Bognan Martin, and her deputy, Thomas for being elected to lead the ITU for the next four years. I believe that with the combined competence, experience, and most importantly, their vision, this is what is required to drive the ITU in the right direction. I can assure you, Madam Secretary General, that you have Dominica's unwavering support as you seek to implement your vision that resonates so well with us. Allow me to also offer my deepest appreciation to the government and people of Romania for being such an exceptional host for this very important forum. It is indeed a pleasure to participate in this forum held in this beautiful historic city of Bucharest. This conference is of great significance, especially for small developing island states like Dominica. The long lasting effects of the current pandemic, the constant threats of natural disasters and the ever changing technological landscape all amplify the need for deci decisive action. No longer can access to services be a hindrance to social and economic empowerment. This fundamental principle has been elevated to top priority in the formulation of our national policy in conformity with the UN Sustainable Development Goals. Your Excellencies, Dominica shares the view that telecommunications and ICTs are critical in accelerating growth and increasing productivity. Therefore, we are pursuing a vigorous agenda in which every single citizen will be impacted positively through the use of ICTs. Significant progress has been made towards achieving universal broadband connectivity by making strategic use of the universal service funds. This initiative provides highly subsidized broadband services which, which ensures that student households have quality access and are able to afford connectivity. Importantly, we have implemented programs to enhance the digital capacity of our youth to nurture the competencies needed for the jobs of the future. Progress is being made towards transitioning to e-government, where public services will be administered online, thereby reducing the need for in-person transaction costs while increasing efficiency. Through the support of the ITU, we were able to improve our post-disaster communication mechanisms, which have enhanced our overall level of resilience, as well as strengthened our early warning capabilities. Your Excellency, strategic partnerships are key in achieving our goals. These partnerships should aim to integrate transformative technologies in all aspects of the lives of our citizens, from the administration of public and private services, in expanding commerce, and importantly, to add value to our productive sectors. In that regard, the government of Dominica commends the Secretary General and the leadership of the ITU for the significant progress made over the years. As they strive to look past the pandemic and to overcome the many global challenges facing our economies, it is critical to maximize the role of the ITU in launching recovery and stimulating growth. Our commitment to maintain and improve the excellent record of collaboration with the ITU has been well articulated by our Prime Minister, Honorable Roosevelt Skerritt, who is and continues to be a strong proponent of transformation through the use of telecommunications and ICTs. Your Excellency, Dominica affirms its commitment to the Connect 2030 agenda, an agenda to connect the unconnected through partnership and long-term collaboration. Before I leave, I also want to seek your support for the Bahamas candidate for the position of director of BDT. Stephen Bureau represents exactly what the ITU is, what the ITU should be, and what we all expect from the ITU. I also want to endorse the candidacy of Cuba to the ITU Council. Cuba's commitment to the sector has been nothing short of remarkable. Your kind support will be greatly appreciated. I thank you, Mr. Chair.